Choosing a timber species. Which species of wood should I use? It's one of the biggest decisions you'll make when building your timber frame home. Each species has its own strengths and weaknesses. So when you're making this important decision, you should consider four major factors. Availability, sustainability, cost, and suitability. The most common species of wood used in timber frame homes are white pine, red and white oak, Douglas fir, cypress, and cedar. Four major factors. Let's start with availability. Locally available materials make the most economical choice, so your building location plays a major role in what materials you choose. Transporting heavy posts and beams across the country can be cost prohibitive, but don't worry. There are a number of species of trees that grow throughout the country, and many types of wood have similar properties. Finding an appropriate, locally available species shouldn't be a problem. The next thing to consider is sustainability. When you're using local timber species, it makes sense to protect your local forest. After all, it's your own backyard. Make sure the timber you source to build your home comes from a logging company that practices sustainable forest management or use FSC certified wood. In short, this means that forests are replanted with the right trees and vegetation to protect the ecosystem from long-term damage. The third major factor is cost. When you have several options of different species to build your timber frame, cost can vary considerably. Remember to think through your project, the aesthetic you're going for, and the structural capabilities of each species. Weigh out all the options, then decide what's best for your budget. Last, not any wood is right for building a timber frame home. Some woods, like oak, are both hard and strong, but tend to twist, crack, and check. Douglas fir is also stable and strong, while white pine, cypress, and cedar don't have quite the same load capacity. Each species has its own advantages and disadvantages. For instance, if the timbers will be exposed to the exterior, your choice of species will be limited to those that stand up well to the elements, like Douglas fir, cypress, and white oak. Now let's dive into the most common species of wood available throughout the states. Wood Species Types Douglas fir is known for its structural strength, so it's a popular species for post and beam construction. It's prevalent in the Pacific Northwest, although it can be found in many other parts of North America. It ranges in color from a yellow or orange-brown shade to a deep reddish-brown. One outstanding characteristic is that it cracks and checks minimally when dried. And keep in mind, Large timbers may be designated FOHC, meaning the beam doesn't have the typical bullseye heartwood in the center. Eastern white pine grows from Minnesota through Newfoundland, as well as south along the Mississippi Basin and the Appalachian Mountains to Georgia and Mississippi. As it's a softwood, it is less costly than oak, but has a tendency to check. However, its cracks and checks, which occur as it dries, gives it a rustic weathered appearance. It has multiple sizes of knots and is a blonde wood with an occasional red streaking. Many use this species when timber framing with hand tools. It is easy to work with and doesn't twist or deflect when properly treated. However, it is not as strong as Douglas fir. Red oak grows from the Great Lakes to Nova Scotia and as far south as Georgia. For a hardwood, it is a fast-growing species and is very popular as a framing choice. However, it is not as resistant to decay or as strong as our next species on the list, white oak. White oak grows from Texas to Quebec and from Minnesota to the eastern seaboard. White oak is very decay resistant, but has a high shrinkage rate that makes it more difficult to work with for timber frame construction. It is so hard, it is recommended only with the use of power tools for cutting your joinery. Of course, other woods can be used and each has its own characteristics. Southern yellow pine, hemlock, spruce, and cedar are certainly good choices for your home, but that depends on your location and the features you want in your building material. Take your time, think it through, and you'll wind up happy with your final choice. You've heard the terms checking and twisting mentioned several times, so let's take a quick look at what they actually mean and why they are important to know about when building your own timber frame. When wood dries, it undergoes physical changes. One of those changes is when the grain separates. This is called checking. The timbers will also twist as they dry. This means the timbers that are secured with tenons will allow some movement, but hold the structural components securely in place. Remember, some wood species are more prone to checking and twisting than others are, so this characteristic 
is always taken into consideration when choosing wood for construction. Checking does not generally weaken the wood and adds character and aged quality to the appearance of the timbers. If you want to minimize the amount of checking your wood will develop, use a humidifier and keep the temperature down for the first winter. When selecting wood for your timber frame home, research which woods are available locally and select a species that's harvested in a sustainable and responsible way. This not only saves you money, but will keep the forest resources in your area strong for generations to come. Several different kinds of wood will probably be used in the construction of your home, as different wood characteristics are required for various components of the structure. So remember the four major factors to take into consideration, availability, sustainability, cost, and suitability, and you'll have a home built exactly the way you want. For detailed plans, custom design, engineering services, or the whole timber frame cut and delivered, contact us at Timber Frame HQ.